Migration earned by John Keats. Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time, sylvan historian who canst thus express a flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme. What leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape of deities or mortals, or of both, in Tempe or the dales of Arcady? What men or gods are these? What maidens loath? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and tambrels? What wild ecstasy? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore, ye soft pipes, play on, not to the sensual ear, but more endeared, pipe to the spirit ditties of no tone. Fair youth beneath the trees, thou canst not leave thy song, nor ever can those trees be bare. Bold lover, never, never canst thou kiss the winning near the goal, yet do not grieve, she cannot fade, though thou hast not thy bliss, forever wilt thou love, and she be fair. Ah, happy, happy boughs, that cannot shed your leaves, nor ever bid the spring adieu. And, happy melodist, unwearied, forever piping songs, forever new. More happy love, more happy, happy love, forever warm and still to be enjoyed, forever panting and forever young, all breathing human passion far above, that leaves a heart high sorrowful, sorrowful and cloyed, a burning forehead and a parching tongue. Who are these coming to the sacrifice? To what green altar, O mysterious priest, leadest thou that heifer lowing at the skies, and all her silken flanks with garlands dressed? What little town by river or seashore, or mountain built with peaceful citadel, is emptied of this folk, this pious morn? And little town, thy streets for evermore will silent be, and not a soul to tell why thou art desolate can e'er return. O oh, attic shape, fair attitude, with breed of marble men and maidens overwrought, with forest branches and the trodden weed, thou silent form dost tease us out of thought, as doth eternity, cold pastoral, when old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain in midst of other woe than ours, a friend to man to whom thou sayest, beauty is truth, truth beauty, that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm 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 interested that I know that um, um, I just met Lindsay today, and she's going to be uh, teaching at Foxcroft School down the road, uh, which is something that I did uh, for a while. And I know that um, when I had been talking about Keats before, that Luke said that uh, you were interested in this poem, and I'm just interested in what you, what about the poem draws. Yeah, you. I just I think it's 